I've been using the BioPro modular thumb since approximately 2008. There's mainly two factors that are important, I think, in uh, evaluating a patient to use the BioPro thumb. First is that on x-ray, they need to have a, uh, an adequate sized trapezium uh, and they need to have uh, a healthy appearing trapezium. If there are cysts in the trapezium or the, the trapezium is too flattened out from the arthritic process, they probably aren't going to be a good candidate. Also on x-rays, if they have obvious arthritis on the other side of the trapezium, so if they have pantrapezial arthritis or STT arthritis, then they're not going to be a good candidate for just resurfacing one joint. Secondly, most of my patients uh, are injected into the CMC joint at some point before their surgery. If that clinically gives them excellent pain relief, then subsequent surgery just at that joint will probably be beneficial. But if that injection doesn't give them substantial pain relief, then the assumption is that they're having pain from the more proximal joint and therefore even if it's not very arthritic on x-ray, it probably is still giving them pain and should also be addressed. Similar to what we've talked about with what makes a good candidate for the biopro thumb, if a patient has pantrapezial arthritis, that patient uh, would best be served by something which also removes the more proximal joints and taking out the trapezium then leaves you with uh, the need to do something like an LRTI. I think the modularity of this implant is, makes it uh, ideal. Uh, with the modularity, you can size the head to the trapezium and maximize the, the size of the head you put in the trapezium. And then you can size the stem separately to the metacarpal. So you can have, uh, if they have really hard bone, you can have a smaller stem that's going to fit snugly. And if they have softer bone or, or or cancellous bone, you can size it to, to fit all the way to the cortices and you're going to have a good solid fit. Also I like the fact that it has a titanium plasma spray on the stem so you have good bony ingrowth and you don't need cement. An additional thing that I find uh, with the BioPro thumb is most of the patients have better motion than they do with a suspension arthroplasty. Well I actually collected a, my series of patients and I have a 94% survival rate with happy patients. Um, they have good strength, they have good motion, and I have a, quite a number of patients who uh, requested, when the uh, other side became arthritic, they requested the BioPro thumb again. I think there's two main reasons why surgeons today are not using implants very much at the base of the thumb, and that is cost and what they're familiar with. Um, Historically, some of the implants for the base of the thumb don't have a very good track record of longevity, even though they were good at providing pain relief. 